Hello everyone. My name is Viraj Ghande. I am a SYBB student. Today I am discussing about financing decision. I am Satyajit Ranare, second year Pumbaa BHFM student. In this chapter, we are discussing on the concept of capital structure and capitalization and the sources of funds. Capital structure is defined as the mix of debt and equity or any other long-term sources of funds used to finance a firm's investment and operating activities. Corporate capital structure decisions are important as they maximize the value of the firm by optimizing its cost of capital. It enhances the competency of the firm and its ability to deal with its competitive environment. Capitalization Capitalization refers to the magnitude of capital employed in the firm. This includes both long-term and short-term capital. Every firm must aim at the optimum capitalization as more than the optimal capitalization will result in the unused capital and less than optimal will impact liquidity. Estimation of firm's capital requirement is done very carefully and based on cost of the asset and earning of the firm. Now we discussing on the sources of funds. The sources of funds have two types. Long term finance and short term finance. Long term finance include the shares, debentures, public deposits, terms loans, lease financing and higher purchase financing. There are several sources of raising long term funds. First equity shares. Equity shares are also called ordinary shares. The holders of the shares are called shareholders are the legal owners of company. They are a source of permanent capital as they have no maturity period. Second is preference shares. Those are considered as hybrid security as it has features of both ordinary shares and debentures. Debentures. This is a long term promissory note for raising loan capital. The firm promises to pay interest and principal amounts as stipulated. In India, debentures are secured against the immovable asset of the company. Public deposits. Those are funds raised from the public through acceptance of fixed deposits. They may be either secured or unsecured. Term loans. Those are long-term loans obtained from banks and financial institutions by companies for financing large expansion and diversification projects. Therefore, this method of financing is called project financing. Lease financing. This is a widely used in Western countries to finance investment. In USA, it is contributing approximately one to third of the total business investment. Higher purchase financing. In a higher purchase financing, there are three parties, the manufacturer, the hiree and hirer. The manufacturer sells the assets to the hiree who loans it to the hirer in exchange for the payment to be made over a specified period. Short term finance, trade credit. This fund emerges when firm purchases new raw material on credit. The volume depends upon the quantum of uh, purchase and the period of which credit is available. Second is the bank finance. Commercial banks play an important role in the meeting of the short term finance need to their corporate sector. Two forms of the bank credit are unsecured and secured. Third is commercial paper. It originated in USA and is now used in developed and undeveloped nations. Fourth is public deposits. Unsecured public deposits can be issued by firms to raise working capital. The term of such deposit is normally 6 months to 3 years.